the shape of Noah's Ark. <clears throat> and honestly, this entire video is basically nothing more than logical deduction. And there's nothing in the scripture about this. But it is implied. And so, when looking for Noah's Ark, and there are people out there looking for Noah's Ark, the first question is, what's the shape of it? Now, we know the length and the width. Some people like the idea of looking at ships and what a ship looks like, you know, with a pointy bow <clears throat> or a stern, whatever. That's not how Noah's Ark should be looking. And for that, you have to realize what the Ark is used for. Okay? It is to haul cargo, specifically. Animals and the, the food for the animals. But, again, in reality, it is nothing more than a cargo vessel. Does it have a motor on it? We don't have any description of a motor being on it, so why would it have you know, a, a pointy front so that it cuts through the water more efficiently? In fact, it's not wanting to cut through the water at all. It's wanting to be slow. The slower it is, the more stable it is. So it should be a rectangle. The description that we have as it pertains to the Torah in Genesis 6 leads you to believe it's a rectangle, rectangular um, or cubic structure. And I see nothing that would defeat that. You know, um, when we see a cargo container without an engine going on the river, it's usually a barge. How is a barge shaped? It's a rectangle. And it's got a flat bottom. What's the easiest thing to try to build? And again, you're talking about a lot of twisting and flexing forces, though. So you really want to triangulate uh, the wood on something that long. I mean, you're talking about, again, a huge ship, three stories tall. And when waves are hitting it, it's trying to actually rip it apart. Now, one of the stories that we have is that it, it, after the initial storm, uh, the, the boat was rocking and they thought it was going to just break and um, Noah prayed and it went calm. What is the most stable boat for calm water is a flat bottom boat. It's also the easiest to build. It's also can be built the strongest because of being able to triangulate everything. Um, again, he's not looking to cross the ocean. He's not looking to move. He's just looking to go up and down with the water. That's all he's trying to do. He's not trying to go any way horizontal. horizontal. Um, again, he's not trying to start out in Turkey and land in France or vice versa. We don't know where he started out. But we do know where he landed in the mountains of Ararat. If you've got a flat or a, a, a square um, front, as it comes, it's really fighting the water in front of it, so it doesn't want to move. That's to me the shape we would look for if we're looking for Noah's Ark. Is a true cube, um, you know, a rectangular cube that is that has the dimensions and again <clears throat> it's highly unlikely that we're going to find it because for a number of reasons but if again we're looking at the mountains of Ararat most of the mountains of Ararat are not covered by snow um, could it be dust or volcanic activity yeah Mount Ararat is an act basically what we would call an active volcano so it could have covered the entire boat with ash and preserved it. Very possible. Um, Mount Ararat also has a glacier on it. Maybe the the boat is under the ark is underneath the glacier. We don't know these things. You know, nobody's walking the earth today <clears throat> unless one has been inspired by you know has had a prophecy on this that's going to know this information. We just don't. We can get a rough idea of the location around Mount Ararat. And again, 
the shape is nothing more than a logical deduction and looking at the way that it's written about the shape. Um, <clears throat> and I do know that uh, Monty Judah has done an excellent video and I think he has the exact same issue on this is the shape of it so that I can put more things in it and more usable space. Um, and again, he puts that with the weight um, of the food to start with and everything and, and basically where that door would just be around where the water line is. Um, the door on the side of the arc for them to come in. And it has it very low in the water, which again creates more stability. Um, except for the fact we'd have metrocentric um, issues here. If on a flat bottom boat, it will roll more than a regular boat would okay so it with the waves if the waves are coming this way it will roll heavily and again um and i forget where i read that it was not in one of the canonical books um of you know the boat almost coming apart and him praying and then it becoming calm i don't doubt that being the case that that happened um but again from what we have it doesn't say it um, 